the anatomy of the head and neck is fascinating. It's very complicated and and uh, is is very very interesting. And uh, being able to operate in that anatomy every day is a very challenging and very fun thing. Not everyone can describe their work as fun. Okay, this is where the tumor is. But for head and neck surgeon Dr. Tamar Ganim, he means it. He knows that what he does can have a profound effect on his patients. Our plan is we're going to go in and take the tumor out through the mouth, and then while the pathologist is looking at everything, we'll uh, go ahead and make an incision in the neck and remove the lymph node. And you're able to do a lot of times uh, very important things to help that patient in terms of their recovery from their cancer or um, functional type of uh, recovery from trauma when we do reconstruction for trauma. Bring the robot in. It is definitely a very exciting time in terms of uh, uh, being able to perform uh, a new technique and being able to uh, think sometimes outside the box. There is no box that contains Dr. Tamar Ganim's knowledge of robotic surgery. In fact, he has been very willing to share what he has developed with colleagues worldwide. This is Medanta Hospital. The Madanta Vatikuti Institute of Robotic Surgery is just one of the places Tamar Ganim has been as part of his association with the Vatikuti Foundation. When you look at a very sophisticated medical environment like you find throughout India, uh, robotic surgery is something you cannot ignore. This technology is going to be spread in India very fast and the patients are going to accept it in a much better way than any other uh, technology. Doing a uh, two, two and a half arts procedure uh, with, with laparoscopy, which is not ergonomically the best uh, thing for the surgeon. What robotics has done is, because of the uh, instruments which are ergonomic with seven degrees of freedom and 3D vision and enhancement of the vision, it has made uh, procedure, you know, uh, much better. Robotic surgery is not anything out of this world. Try and understand the robot does nothing except for augments the human capabilities to perform a more precise job with the least of the trauma. One thing Dr. Ganim is quite concerned with is the increase in oral cancers. Thinking outside the box and using the Da Vinci robotic platform has shown many benefits for his patients already. There is a rise, there is an epidemic right now that we're seeing more and more of these cancers in younger people. And so being able to do something that is minimally invasive with the least amount of side effects makes more sense. Thankfully, he has been able to change what was once a disfiguring surgery into one that gives his patients a return to normal life. He went home in a few days and no tracheostomy. He was eating right away. You'll be seeing him playing hockey with his family less than a month out from his surgery. If we did the open procedure, he wouldn't be quite there yet. Hi, Mr. James, how are you? Good morning. For this patient and his family, robotic surgery gave them a bright future. Your future needs to include robotic surgery and more. We're talking about robotics now. You know, who knows 10, 20 years from now, you know, what we'll be uh, talking about. My guess is future, no surgery would be needed. Maybe it doesn't happen in our lifetime. But what equity foundation would pursue that goal and bring in every new technology which reduces patient pain, gives more comfort to the patient and enhances recovery. I encourage people to take a look at it and get to know what's going on uh, so they can be familiar with this technology as we develop it further and it becomes more commonly used in India. It's a very noble endeavor that the foundation is involved with, being able to take that level of technology and take that around the world and be able to really educate and get other folks uh, excited about that. That's, that's a very noble cause. This is an exciting time for head and neck surgeons and ENT surgeons from the point of view of robotic surgery applications. It has found it a tremendous role in transoral surgery, transaxillary, scarless thyroid surgery, and sleep apnea. The Vatikuti Foundation has undertaken a tremendous role in the development of robotic surgery. Websites, conferences, institutes, and mentoring are just some of what they are doing. Please join them as they work to bring this technology to all.